Hello my friends! Welcome to the 30 days rank boss challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. We're on day 12 today. Here you have the full upload plan for the challenge. Today we will talk about the remaining 5 of the 9 existing emblems. If you haven't seen part 1, you should definitely check it out as well, to get the full picture. First, the 5 shoutouts of today goes to Senpai Anime Drawer, Mukul Gurung, uh, Zeki Yudin, Zulkifi, Zulkifli, Gino Side, and Sian Finch. As always, write something nice for the chance to get a shoutout, and all giveaways info are in the description. Now let's get into the meaty part. First, we will go quickly through the physical and magic emblem. Don't use them if you have the custom emblems available. And don't spend any of your magic dust on them. These two emblems are just much weaker compared to the other available emblems. However, if you haven't unlocked the custom emblems yet, or your custom emblems are still on a very low level, use the physical emblem with all heroes with your physical damage and choose vitality and life drain as your talent. If your hero deals magic damage, choose the magic emblem and use energy and energy observation. This emblem shouldn't be higher than level 20 I think, because at this point you should be able to unlock the custom emblems and focus on them. I didn't know this as a mobile legend noob, as you can see from my emblems level. Next we have the mage emblem. A sub talent I would recommend for most mages to use agility and observation. The movement speed bonus helps you to rotate faster. By the way, check out the rotation video from yesterday if you haven't done it already. And the magic penetration helps you more than the magic power or magic lifesteal bonus. As talent I usually like to go with mystery shop for most heroes. The fact that you can have your core items faster than anybody else gives you a huge advantage in the early game. The early game is your time to shine as mage and with this talent you will shine even a bit brighter. You can also use magic worship if your hero is able to easily activate its effect. This works well on heroes who use a 3 skill combo, for example Eudora or Aurora. And in pure rage if your hero desperately needs mana regen, looking at heroes like Sicilian for example. Next let's talk about the support emblem. What makes this emblem awesome is that you can use it for so many different heroes. Either you use it on heroes who can constantly poke their enemy or if you want to reduce the cooldown of your selected spell. As first sub talent I would recommend that you use agility. More movement speed is in my opinion almost always the most beneficial talent to choose. And with a support emblem you get the highest movement speed bonus overall by the way, since you receive a 10% bonus when the agility talent is maxed out. If you play a hero who don't need more movement speed or desperately needs more cooldown reduction you can also choose mastery. A second sub talent I will choose gift for those heroes who have a healing skill, Rafaela or Estes for example. Otherwise I will choose recovery. You regenerate HP and mana with it. Like this you can survive longer without the need of going back to your base. Next let's talk about the 3 talents. If you can constantly poke the enemy and stay together with your allies, focusing mark is the talent of your choice. 6% extra damage doesn't sound that much, but then think about how many times it happened to you that an enemy escaped with like 1 HP. Also the 6% extra damage counts for all of your allies, so in a big gank this talent will definitely increase your chances of winning. The talent Avarice you can use on heroes who are not able to use the magic emblem and therefore mystery shop and are also able to poke the enemy non-stop, Uranus for example. Pull yourself together you can use when you want to shorten the cooldown of your spell, for example to have the ability to use flicker much more often for engages or escapes or to spam flame shot more often around. This is a great talent for heroes who benefit greatly from their spells. Last we have the tank emblem. If you have some talent pages for this emblem I would make one with physical damage and one with magic damage. So whenever you play against a team that is more physical or magic damage you can adjust your emblem easily. If you don't have that I would go with vitality for the extra HP because this works good against any enemy and inspire for the cooldown reduction. As talent I would use concussive blast since it's an awesome support for your team in a gank and it helps also very well if you have to clear a wave. If you haven't unlocked it yet you can use the other two talents. There you can choose in between the extra defense when you are low from tenacity or the HP regen from brave smite. It's depending on what you like more. Now go and check out the whole playlist of your daily viewer. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Oh by the way I forgot to mention the secret keyword for today. It is LOL.